begin with our flavorful kitchen segment. I have to say, take a look at this setup. It is absolutely stunning. We're joined here by Anthony's Restaurant, and that's because Min May is the open of the much anticipated Copper Ribbon Salmon Season, which is the world's finest salmon. Now, these salmon make an arduous 300 mile migration to spawn, and because the Copper River is so long and steep, these salmon have some of the highest omega-3 fatty acids in flavorful oils. So we're joined right now by Chef Reno Rodriguez from Anthony's in downtown Boise and also Tim Frillman, who's the head seafood buyer for Anthony's as well, to tell us all about this amazing fish and how you can enjoy it at this amazing restaurant. So Tim, first of all, tell us what makes the Copper River salmon so coveted? Well, there's a lot of excitement in the first place because this is the first Alaska salmon run of summer. Ooh. So people have just been waiting for fresh Alaskan salmon to arrive. And so that's part of it. But the, the most amazing part of this fish is, is like you just mentioned, the journey that these fish have to go through. A lot of people don't realize that once a salmon hits fresh water, it's done with its feeding cycle. It's, it's focused on one thing, getting to its spawning ground. So to make that 300 mile journey up this amazing river, uh, the Copper River, they have to store up a lot of the uh, body fat, body fat yeah. and oil to make that journey because they're done feeding. They'll be in fresh water for several months. And we're getting these fish at the mouth of that river at the peak of their um, you fattiness, know, if fattiness, you will. Fattiness, exactly. Yes. What, and that's what gives salmon just amazing flavor and that really nice flaky texture. Mm. And so the neat thing about it also is we get both king salmon and sockeye salmon off this run. So if you're a salmon lover and you eat this, you will be one. Mm -hmm. um, try them both because it's amazing. I will. And, Thank and you. <laughs> real quick, the other yes. thing is they manage this fishery so well, and that's why we have this thing every year is that they'll fish for 12 hours and then shut the fishery down, count the fish, fish and game will determine when they get to fish again. But the main goal here mm -hmm. is to make sure enough escapement, meaning fish getting to their hatch spawning mm -hmm. ground um, is, is going to happen. So it's all about management. We have this great resource and it's going to be around for generations. I personally really appreciate the focus on sustainability, oh, right? Yeah, because absolutely. it is so important, especially if you're a fish lover like myself. I really love salmon in particular. Oh, yeah. Probably my absolute favorite dish. But it's important, though, that we're recognizing the sustainability of the process right, so yeah. we can continue to enjoy it and these fish can thrive in the exactly. wild. Exactly. Right? That's yes. what it's all about. Yes, it's the circle of life, yes, if you will, but we've got to be kind to it. All right, Reno. Yes. So we've learned about this amazing filet here. How do you prepare it at Anthony's? Uh, we are going to be preparing this a little bit special. Um, because of the fat that you were talking about, all the, those omega-3s that are stored in that fish, we're going to keep the skin on. Okay. Do a nice crispy skin salmon today. Mm. It maintains that, that lovely fat buttery texture to it. Um, and that way you're not losing any of the everything that you're, you're fighting for to get, right? All right. So because we're in spring, I really wanted to focus on spring. And also Boise being Basque-centric, I guess yes. you could say. Uh, we went a little bit Basque direction with it as okay. well. Okay, So tying both of those in. Let's get into it. So we're it. gonna get these nice and hot. Now, I know a lot of times people will not do crispy skin fish at home um, because it seems a little intimidating, right? Yeah. How do you cook it? The way to cook this properly is to cook it about 75% on the skin side down. So you're gonna start off with a nice hot pan, okay. get it in there until you hear that nice sizzle, and then you're gonna turn it down to about medium and just let it go, just let it sit. Okay. Don't touch it for about six minutes, depending on the side. All right. Flip it over for about so a minute. So trust the process. You're done, trust the process. Okay, all right, trust no the process. peaking. Okay. No peaking, no. Ch so we're gonna start off with some nice bell peppers and okay. onions. Get those sauteed up, and this is gonna be our sauce. All right. One of the ingredients we're using to give a nice little smoky texture, or flavor rather, and there's the is Basque touch. the Basque touch right there. Yep. That's the, the Spanish chorizo. So we're going to get all this in here. And we just wanna, a few garlic cloves. Just a few. <laughs> Not a lot. If you have a date that night, well. Carry some breath mints. There you go. <laughs> so we're going to get that warm. Okay. And sweat that down for about seven minutes. All right. Once that sweats, we're going to hit it with some paprika and chili powder. We've got some tomato paste, some white wine, some red wine vinegar. We're doing basically like a, a type of romesco sauce. Today. Okay. So typically romesco sauce, you'll have almonds, you'll have some toasted bread in there to kind of give it a thickener. We're gonna skip all that. We're gonna stay a little bit more vegetable forward on it, mm -hmm. especially if you've got any allergies at home, you don't wanna have to worry about nuts or gluten or anything like that. It makes this very safe. Oh, love that. Now that our pan is getting nice and hot okay. for the salmon, we're gonna steal a piece of salmon all from right. here. All right, we'll let you grab that. Beautiful 
gorgeous fillets. I could just eat it like that. I know. I so like nice. sushi, so I'm kind of like, all this, so I'll eat it if you if, if the pan doesn't get hot enough, you just hand it to me. <laughs> all right. The pan is hot enough. We're gonna okay. season it generously. Oh, look at that. Listen and to that. And we're just sizzle. gonna let it go. You can even press it down a little bit if you like. Tim, I'm getting hungry. I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you really want that skin to have contact with the pan the whole time. So I give it a nice little press for about okay. 30 seconds or so. And then we're just gonna let it go. And two, I noticed when you put it on the heat, it instantly started to shrink up yes. too. It kind of tightens. It's gonna want to curl. Yeah. Okay. And so there's a pressing to help it, it to does. keep it from curling, so you can keep that keeps that surface skin area on the pan and it'll have all the skin get exactly. crunchy. Okay. Instead good. of having those soft spots, you really yes. want to get that. No, no, no soft spots. No. We want it nice and crunchy. Okay, look at that. So all there right. we go. She okay. might pop a little bit on you, so be careful. Okay, I will. And you said a special term here. You said having this sweat down. Yes. What do you mean by that? So by keeping the fire a little bit softer, not okay. too high, you're yeah. gonna sweat those vegetables and let them soften, and soften excuse me, mm -hmm. instead of caramelizing. Oh. You really want them to get soft and just kind of release those oils and those flavors without okay. getting too much sugar on them. Good to know. Yeah. Okay, all so right. We're gonna give so that a little sweat toss. it down. I tend to caramelize, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, and caramelizing works, I mean, if you're doing this at home, too often. you know, and yeah. you're, you're in a rush, you wanna caramelize, caramelize away. I am in a rush. I'm in a rush. Go. That's my problem. Okay, so be patient with the vegetables. Let them sweat down. Okay. Speaking of being in a rush, yes. The potatoes we're using today are fondant potatoes. Ooh. So these are waxy potatoes, okay. Yukons. I like to use. I love Yukon. Which you boil. So they're so good. Nice, yeah. waxy, and sweet. Yeah. So what I do is prior to when I'm cooking, I'm gonna turn okay. this down just a little bit. You can see we're smoking. Um, so I poach them in a highly uh, flavorful chicken stock. Chicken stock, garlic, thyme, okay. plenty of salt and pepper. Okay. And you just simmer them till they're cooked all the way through. They're nice and soft. I cut them in about quarter inch rings, okay. half inch rings rather. Um, pull them out, you can save them for the next day. Oh. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them in some butter and oil, fry them up when you're ready to go. And that way it saves so you, you a lot of time. you can prepare them. Yes. I love that. Especially if you're gonna be doing uh, this as an opportunity to really impress your guests, right? For a nice oh, yeah. like dinner, yeah. maybe coming this summer. Uh, what, a, what a great way to make sure that you can feed everybody in a timely manner when this is all ready right. and not have to wait for the potatoes. You're not rushing, you get to enjoy your time yes, a little bit with the guests. I love that. Okay, great. And then, so you're sweating down those vegetables, sweating but you do down. have the sauce done by the magic of television right over here, yes. right? So this okay. is what it looks like when it's done. Um, once we get the wine in there, everything uh -huh. reduced, then we blend it and yep. strain it. Okay. At home, really no need to strain it. Uh, it's, it's, it's a beautiful sauce, nice and thick, as you can see. Do you just puree it with a hand mixer or put it in a blender? I like to use a blender for this. Okay. Because you want to get it nice and smooth. Okay. So Vitamix is great at home if you have one. Yes. Ninja, the Bullet, all yes. of those. Yeah. We're going to give this a little peek, see how we're looking. Almost there. Okay. You can oh, see it's starting to brown. Yes. Actually, up on yeah, the sides right there. Yeah, towards that camera. Once you start seeing that brown right there, that's okay. you're, you're really close at that point. All right. Oh, I love this. This is good. Okay, and then when it comes to cooking your salmon and you're gonna flip it over, how do you know it's done? Feel. Feel you in feel the heart? In your heart. You feel just it know. in your heart, you just know. <laughs> it really depends on the thickness. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the pink is starting to climb up. Okay. So you're getting to that point where you're just about 60% there. Okay. You'll flip it over another two minutes and you're done. Okay, because the last thing you want to do with such a perfect piece of meat is overcook it, right? right? Absolutely. Like that, that would bring tears to my eyes. No, I'd still I've... eat it, but still, right? Like I'd just be so, I'd just be like, oh. We're gonna make oh, this man. perfect for Okay, you. great. All right, so we got this going. So we got this going. We're okay. just about there. All right. Almost, just a little bit longer. Okay. Also, we're serving asparagus with this today. Okay. I love spring. I love the vegetables, the fruit. Everything coming out is wonderful. And it's just a happy time to be a chef. Yes. Um, so what we're doing is we're doing like some, yeah. some roasted asparagus. Okay. And I like to finish my vegetables with a little bit of herbs. Um, mint, chervil. Mm -hmm. You can do, uh, if you're doing broccolini, you can do some lemon zest, pine nuts. There's so many ways to just add little accents to your vegetables mm -hmm. that really make a big impact. Okay. And then too, like you said, asparagus, it's it's in season right now. It is right? in season yeah. right now. Yep, so it's enjoy it while you can. gorgeous right now. Yes. So All right, so you just added tomatoes. Little tomato. And then our rice wine, or not rice wine, I'm sorry, our red wine vinegar okay. and white wine. A little bit of tomato paste. And then our spices. Marvelous. And this, you're gonna let simmer down till just about all the wine is out. Okay. Finish it off with some chicken stock. Goes another 10 minutes and it's ready to go in the blender. Beautiful. Simple as that. All so right. our fish is ready to flip. <gasps> it's ready. Again, trusting the heart. There we go. Oh, look at that. Nice and crispy all over. 
Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, and it <laughs> smells horrible. <laughs> that smells amazing. <laughs> like horrible. What are you talking about? To who? Oh my goodness. Okay, and then you said again, maybe about two minutes. About two minutes. This okay. is a nice, beautiful, thick piece of fish. Yes, it is. So we're gonna hit a perfect medium rare on that. Okay, all right. And when it comes to salmon too, do you really need to worry about the internal temperature at all of something like this? Or is it just more to your preference, kind of like when you preference. make a steak? Preference, Okay. 100%. Preference. Yeah. 100%, okay, love it. All right. So when are we gonna, when are we gonna plate this bad boy? Due to movie boy? magic, Okay. I have everything preset and ready to go. If you don't mind, I'm gonna reach in here. Oh, and we're lovely. gonna start off with our lovely asparagus. Okay. And again, it's roasted already. Just gonna hit it with some of that lovely shaved mint. Oh, beautiful. And then we're just gonna try not to grab that barehanded. It's a little warm, a little, little sitting in the oven there. Oh, beautiful. Okay, take note too of how he's arranging the plate if you really wanna impress your guests. Oh, but yeah. of course, you know, why sweat all this? Let the vegetables sweat in the Anthony's kitchen, right? Oh, yeah. Come on over to Anthony's Heck and yeah. enjoy this incredible dish. And here we're gonna do a little bit of a roasted garlic. Again, okay. playing on that Basque twist. Um, they do a lot of what's called patatas bravas back in Spain. When Ooh. I was living there, we would never stop eating them. It's a fried potato with a roasted garlic aioli. So we thought this would be a nice touch for this dish. Oh, lovely, lovely. Such beautiful presentation. It's beautiful. Yes. Can't wait and to eat. Here's I know. <laughs> fondant potatoes. Okay, and then you said you used Yukon Gold for these? I use Yukon right. Gold for these. And then these Red are the potatoes, potatoes work as well. that can be prepared the day before. Yes. And then um, go ahead and slice them. And then did you roast or fry? What did you say you did I with fried these? these in butter. Fried them in butter. Oh, you can't go wrong frying anything in butter. All right. right? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and plate that delicious piece of salmon again. This is a Copper River salmon. Tim, you said the first catch of the season. You could come out to Anthony's and enjoy this. What a lovely date. What a great way to bond with your friends. And the neat thing about this is with, with the airlines and stuff nowadays, we, we have this fish to the restaurant within 24 hours of it being caught. I mean, wow. this fish was caught Monday afternoon. No and here kidding. we are. It was here yesterday. And we're cooking it up here in the yeah, island today. It it's, it's great that All we right. have that. And now you're plating it with this lovely sauce. Lovely sauce sauce on the side. Beautiful. Okay, I think we got tons of tummies rumbling, everybody. And then we've got a little bit, again, playing on spring. I love my pea shoots. I love my radish. You keep garnishing that. We're getting another shot of this. Okay. Anthony's, where are you located, Tim? We're our seafood distribution center, our processing plant, we're on Pier 91 in, in Seattle, Washington. Mm -hmm. And everything comes to us through trucks, the airlines, whatever. I, I deal with the fishermen and then we distribute out to all of our great restaurants. And you can enjoy this delicious dish Absolutely. right here in downtown Boise at Anthony's. Make sure you check it out. I'm looking so forward to diving in to this. Tim, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to get in line. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back with more Auto Today. Thank you. Oh, this looks so good.